friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so we're going to talk about getting people to your masterclass now when you host a masterclass you want people on there you want people to, to attend you want them to come in live you want them to be there so that they can interact they can comment they can ask questions and maybe even you can show their stuff to show that you're helping them specifically with whatever their particular problem is based on you know whatever your content is right so we're going to talk about that in just a second how what do you need to get people to your master class in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So if you are hosting a masterclass, like I said, you want to have people there. There's no point to having one if nobody's there, right? Or at least, well, there is a point. There's learning and uh, technology and doing things, but you really, you really want people there, right? So there's two aspects to that. Today, we're going to cover the things you need to set up to get people to your master class um and uh maybe hopefully yeah probably tomorrow's episode we're going to talk about because today is the 30th of December if you're watching this in, in a week or later on if you're looking at the blog post or anything like that it might be later on but we're in 2020 we're just the last few days of 2020 tomorrow is the New Year's Eve so we're going to cover how to or what you need to have ready to be able to have people come to your master class before we get into that though I want to mention if you're listening to the audio make sure you go check out the video at cis298.jsgagnon.com to go check out the video and the blog post where I'm going to share my screen and yeah it's a lot more so if you're listening to the audio go check that out there all right okay so let's get to it let's share my screen I'm going to show you a couple things that we need where is the webcam right there okay so the first thing you're going to need is a place to host your course now you might be thinking well I don't need to host my course right now I'm not I haven't created it yet and I'm going to be doing it live I'm going to be doing Facebook groups I'm going to be doing this and that but you really want a place where you can have people kind of go to and know where the course is actually going to be after you've done it right so and like for me what I've done uh, for my master class that I'm kind of planning on doing I've created a course uh skeleton if you will that is a that's for it let me see where is that over here no down here um where is my master class oh is it not visible oh it's not visible yet okay so I got to go find in my courses that are not yet published as the courses maybe I should make it published but anyways it's unlisted right now so this one here become a perfect webinar master is actually the course skeleton where people can go to that you can send them links and you can also um, add them to your to an email list well not really the but you get you get people to it to connect with your course here so you'll be able to uh, send them messages you'll be able to know who's in your list like for example if I take a look at one of my other courses well let's see should I uh, if I look at some of the other courses that I have students in like my LinkedIn connection growth secrets you know my LinkedIn profile my one of my free ones let's do the LinkedIn profiles uh, LinkedIn profile secrets if I look at that you can see there's 20 students in here these are all people that have uh, attended or gotten the course they you know nobody's it shows right here whether they started or not and then you can actually um, find that person in the system and and send them a private message and uh, you'll eventually be able to send them emails as well to the people that have there and they're actually going to be able to put in comments in here like this for example uh this person here had made a comment on it right um <clears throat> and then somebody else here and it kind of lets you see who's in your course who's who are the students uh this was a free one so there's no there's no income in here but kind of shows you the number of views the number of impressions the number of clicks uh the, the lesson seconds then 
watch seconds for hours so that's uh that's the information so you know the first thing let's just put a note in here let's go in here so number one so what do you need what do you need to get people to your course to your master class master class uh people there's no either okay so number one a course hosting platform like I said this is something that you could decide not to need in the beginning because you don't have a course until you've recorded it until you've hosted it until you've had, people have attended it but it's really good to have a place to send them even before you've recorded because it, it also allows you to do some sort some promotions and some you can actually put some text like for me if I go to my courses here <clears throat> if I go to this course that I'm talking about here the one that I'm uh, that's not public yet but still accessible with a, a, a link I can actually they can actually see the price it's going to be they can see the description for it this can all be obviously custom, completely customizable they can even see in my case that I'm giving away the this course for a lot less than the two thousand dollar price with these coupons and uh, there's explanations in here and all that and then they can see some of the first lessons or at least what their lessons should be about in here right and then there's an introduction video that I could record and have available for them to look at if they're kind of still not sure whether they want this to attend this course or not right so I mean that's the whole thing that you have a place to kind of bring people in and and connect them and connect and send the messages and that kind of stuff right so that's that's the first thing or at least one of the things that you need the, the I guess the second thing that I would say you need for me I think you need three things set up and I'm, I'm, I'm talking about tools now I'm not talking about getting traffic or ads or things like that I'm talking about three things that are kind of basic that if you don't have it makes it a lot harder to manage especially if you want to scale if you want to have a thousand people attend your course if you want to have only five or ten you can keep all this in your head you don't have to worry about most of this right you can even record just the videos put them on YouTube and send them links to those videos after they've they've paid you or whatever right that you don't need that so maybe actually a well the fourth thing isn't really for yeah okay so number two you need a um email provider okay you need an email service provider an email autoresponder email service provider or autoresponder is what they're called normally right so you need a place where you can have people gather now eventually Click eCourse will support that as a as a feature we already gather emails and things like that for people but we just haven't put in place a way for you to use the emails without because one of the things is we want this is a course hosting platform so it's not about you know people that join this they don't necessarily want you to have their emails right but they're okay with you contacting them as long as you don't get their email and put it in some you know people are afraid that you're going to put it in some spam and things like that right but if it's part of the course they they attend the course they're they receive an email from the course teacher and those kinds of things that's okay right so we're going to be a, allowing you to send emails to people through the platform without knowing their email so that's different than an email responder right so an email autoresponder like like uh Aweber right that's the one I use I use Aweber <laughs> and for that uh, let me see where am I this is inside of a campaign I'll get canceled uh, I was editing a campaign earlier okay so inside of a inside of an email autoresponder like this you're going to want to have a list that it's called a list so I have multiple lists if I look at my list here I have a bunch of lists that I've created and each list is for different reasons as you can see some of them have 300 some of them have 100 some of them are just four or five no people uh <coughs> what is this this is subscribers and what is it unsubscribe yeah so I mean you see that it's constantly changing overall I don't it's kind of weird because I have like almost a thousand five hundred subscribers how is this showing me only this that's kind of interesting I'm not really sure how it shows because if I go to the dashboard it shows me that I've got 1800 subscribers so I don't really know why I'm seeing only 100 and 200 and that kind of stuff right but anyways that's so inside of Aweber or other email provider you need to create a list so for me I've got the perfect webinar master class list 
I go to the subscribers right now there's nobody either well there's a test account but that's a place where you would have your your people listed in your um and it and you can and that becomes your email they joined your list right and you are, you of course have to make sure that they know that they're joining your list when you're getting in them in there but that would be one way to send them the link to the course like for me what I do if I look at this the email that this person gets when they first join is they get a welcome email right and then they uh if I go to the first sorry they get the welcome to the webinar masterclass sorry I'm not, <clears throat> let's load it up here to show you what it looks like so basically they get this email sent to them which right now says really nothing but you know it could be it should be a proper email there's all these strategies about email lists and nurturing and all these different things for now <laughs> it's just an email like this that just gives them the link to the course and it also tells them they're in so that they should ex they would they would expect another email later on saying hey okay the master class is starting on this date make sure you put it in your calendar and you should attend live and yada 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 yada, yada, yada right <laughs> all that stuff so that's so that's the second thing that you need is an email list service or an autoresponder because with the email list service you can you can send the messages and you know that they came in for the master class that you're putting together right in my case my perfect webinar master class right so they know that that's why they're in your list you send them a message about your master class telling them you know uh if it if it, it's live tonight you know you you send them reminders you can do all sorts of things with their email that relate to why they're in here right and the other um um yeah so anyway so that's uh yeah so that's that's the number two thing that you need number two is an email service provider so personally I use so I use I'm I use Aweber right and uh, you can get um you can get a free account you can get a free account actually a free account of Aweber at this link let's put it up here Aweber you can get it right here at aweber.jeansergegagnon.com right <coughs> you can get the Aweber account right there at that address aweber.jeansergegagnon.com that's going to give you a free account that you can use for Aweber by the way on course hosting platform I should say the uh that I use click click <coughs> ecourse which is https click ecourse.com right so let's get that link in there too click ecourse so I'm actually getting a, a phone call let me just po pause this we'll come back all right so now um okay so click ecourse is the site loud well, that's what I was going to put in here the link to click ecourse where's the click ecourse link is right over here so click ecourse.com is the site that I use to host my course and by the way you can actually go here let's just open this up in a incognito to see so you can see what it looks like when you first go in so when you go there the first thing that happens is that you will see this welcome uh, page where you can kind of read up on it a bit but you can click on the register up top here and you can either register with your Facebook account which I recommend it's a lot easier it's, it, it you know, it'll get your email and your name and your profile picture right or if you don't want to use that you can go use email put an email address a password the difference is you have you'll have to get the email uh, activation link in your inbox and then you can activate your account that way but it's free you can have a free account there's different plans on Click eCourse the free account still lets you do a lot of stuff as you can see the yes 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 here in green is the free account right um and uh, you can see all the stuff you can do with your free account is all this then there's other accounts that let you do more there's also the um anyways the details on the accounts are on this not something to talk about right now but uh yeah so you just click on the register and get yourself a free account on clickecourse.com to host your course like I've showed you here right like this course here that I've got here that's set up with lessons and everything um you can actually use um 
well no uh yeah so that's that's the course hosting okay let's get that over there okay so number two that's the well that was the first one then number two was the uh auto responder and then number three that you need as well is a funnel hosting service now there's a bunch of them out there you could even create your own um uh in wordpress right you can create your own pages in wordpress and send people to those but basically you need a a, a place to capture people's emails you could do that with you could even do that with um, aweber right in aweber let's just cancel this in aweber you can create sign up forms right if I can actually go in here I can say sign up form I want to create a sign up form and I'm just going to make it a basic sign up form here let's do this let's go this one here load the template and name and email and I'm going to put a header in here whoops join join the master class waiting list right uh, save oh this is not I want this to be a bit bigger font size let's make it 13 no that's not it 24 make it 36 there we go save it okay so now this is we're going to be like this to center it as well save it like that okay so that's going to be a basic thing I'm just going to say submit and save and I'll just save that to save your form and then go to step two now I have a form that I can embed in different tools or I can I can have a directly I can have a page so what does it say thank you page the basic one that uh, you can do lots of customization here but if I go to step three I can say I want to install my form I just want a landing page so now I can send people to this link and incognito I can send people to this link and they get this box and I can actually put my name in here Jean-Serge test whoops tester right and it's going to be js test at email test whoops there you go and that's good and then I submit that now I'm going to end up being added to this list so it's as simple as that if you want just basic that's it like this it tells you you're going to get a confirming link in your inbox so I got to go in my email and I got to go in here and get my inbox confirm your subscription right here I confirm my subscription and now I'm in the list so now now if I go to the subscribers here I'm going to see there's this new test email that's right here right as you can see it says js tester right this the other test js test oh I guess the I meant JSD test <laughs> JSD test this is one I just did right now right so that's one way to get people in your list it's, it's very simple to do right in your autoresponder but there's minimal um inter integration minimal cap um tracking minimal um seeing what uh, there's, there's minimal customization it's it's it isn't meant for a big scaling or trying to understand multiple different things so that's why you would want something like a funnel hosting service and what I do so you so you can just use the uh autoresponder on their forms you could do that it depends on the autoresponder like with aweber right there that's kind of how you do it um you uh I'd I'd recommend a more complete solution such as click funnels right so I use click funnels everybody that I know in in the online world uses click funnels you can get your free 14-day trial at c at cf com, right uh dot com and that's uh click funnels right here right so you can just go to that link cf com, and that'll take you to this page I'll just show you a little bit what it looks like so it just basically shows you the what click funnels is about and it also will there's a video in here that uh, that for us all talks about click funnels itself he explains what it's all about if I click on play on this let me turn the volume can I turn the volume up on this uh well the volume's not going to come anyways 
because I have not set up the audio but anyways it's a video where Russell talks about click funnels and what it's about and why you should use that and how they came about it and you know it's just all about what click funnels is about right so uh and anyways all you do is you just click on this start your 14 day free trial right 149 dollar value oh, okay and so that's just all you do you just click there and then you, it's going to ask you for information and then you just set up your account right okay otherwise and then and then once you have your click funnels account you can do things like setting up funnels you can create a page and fully customize it to look the way you want it to like this one here that I'm doing that I still haven't finished but it's a LinkedIn secrets thing and uh if I look at the page it's very basic I get an order form page here uh which I'm not sure why it's doing that but that's I think it's it's if I click on edit there's something I think there was something going on that day that's why that preview looks so this is a page here I'm just going to save that like this and I'm going to exit out see if it'll show me the preview properly this time and then there's a thank you page so you can have multiple pages in the funnel right it goes different to different things uh yeah there you go see that's a lot better so and then the thank you page has another video in here and so you set up funnels to get people to your master class like for me if I look at the funnels for my master class let's just go to the master class ones just to kind of show you so perfect webinar master class ask for okay so there's two funnels that I needed I wanted to get set up the first one is just a join the master class funnel right so this page here is very basic it just says join the master class that's just to send people over to get them in there so that I know that they're interested in that and I would normally have conversations with them before sending to, sending them to a page like this because obviously there's nothing here there's no information about it there's no details there's no nothing right so they would have to already know what this is all about if I really wanted to do a proper uh well I guess the word if if I wanted to do a funnel to attract cold market or people who don't necessarily know what I'm talking about they see it maybe in an ad or someplace else I need to have a better funnel than that right <laughs> a page that's kind of a lot more uh complete that talks about what the master class is and what the lessons are and that kind of stuff right but you need a funnel hosting a software to do that right so let's just get that link out of there yeah so you need a funnel solution now there's different options that, like I said out there but this is the ones that I that are one that I'm using now for my funnel so the other one that I created another funnel is the ask campaign so the ask campaign is basically a funnel where you send people to to offer them a free beta of your master class the first master class you do probably you're going to want to do a free one because you want to learn all about what the the people want and you don't want to, it to to like if you're not if you haven't done it 10 times and then especially if it's the first time you're doing it you want to make sure that nobody's going to complain about I oh, that's not worth 200 bucks it's not worth a thousand or whatever you're selling it for right so you give it for free to get feedback and get get people results so that when you sell it later you can say hey I got this person and that person they they made the, they got these results those results right so this is a ask campaign where you ask them what's their number one question right so free live master class how to make your first sales with a, with a webinar without stressing out about if you're doing it right what's your number one question about how to make your first sale right so then this is the question uh, they answer the question in here whoops they answer the question in there and they click the submit button and then it asks them for their email but it'll send them a link to a free version of the course so if I look at my course right here this is another reason why I want to have this course I want it to be the same place where everybody goes whether they get it for free whether they pay for 49 dollars or whether they buy it for 2000 right but inside of managed deals and coupons I have this free coupon right here which has an expiry oh it's interesting that's not showing up but it's supposed to have an expiry I probably will have to just manually delete it once it's over but this will allow people to get in here for free and they they would only know this by getting the link to it and they get that through the email in the email subscribe subscription if I look at this email here actually I probably got it now go back here if I refresh this 
so I got the welcome to perfect webinar master class which is the subscribe subscription email right like you like I showed you and in a few minutes I'm also going to get the other email I'm not sure if it's <coughs> uh, I guess I'll get it later right so that's fine that's fine let's go back to here so if I look at this one if I look at this one's emails that they got the next email they get is um, the master class welcome to the oh, I guess I I need to f probably fix those subjects as when I first set that up I didn't really I didn't really know the sequence of how it would work when you have a funnel for the ask campaign versus oh that's because I didn't do the ask campaign on the second on the second one it wasn't a, an ask campaign see so it uses this this tag right here the answered question tag inside the funnel and that's one of the things inside of click funnels you can actually set this up if I go to the pop-up here well actually integrations the integration it says add them to this list the perfect webinar master list but give this tag answered question so inside of then inside of Aweber you tell it that in the campaigns if I go to messages campaigns inside the list you create two campaigns one for a, a registration and that like I said this one here I have welcome to perfect webinar master class maybe I could have it set up is there a way to say add filter Mm, no that's no question oh, it is oh that's interesting okay no so I can't do a don't don't uh, only if they did not get this tag so there must be another way maybe I can do a subscriber can I do that can I apply a tag remove these tags no. anyways uh yeah so you gotta have your campaign set up <laughs> for when they subscribe see this trigger campaign is when they answer the question and this one here is when they are new subscribers so they'll get both these so I got to figure out how to get them to have only one of them but anyways it probably doesn't matter I could probably make it so that um I could probably make it so that this is just a, an email they get a day later or something or no they would need to get it right away right you really want them to get it right away after the answer to the question you want to send them that to that right now because they're they're there they're online they're waiting for it right you don't want it to come later but uh, you could have an email that as a reminder the next day anyways you can do all sorts of different things but you need those three things you need those three things you need a course hosting platform to to host your course preparation so that you can have people be in the same group right then you need an email service provider or an autoresponder to actually capture emails be able to send emails to them as well and then you need a funnel hosting service so that you can actually have really nicely customized pages to get people into your list like I said you can still use the autoresponder itself to get people in your in the list it's not uh it's not that bad to use that uh, that way you don't have to pay for the funnel hosting because you know funnel hosting is even though they have a 14-day free trial it does cost 100 bucks a month if you want to keep it um, whereas Aweber actually has a free service I'm not sure what's what's available if you can do the forms with the free service or not I, I guess you could try it out and find out and let me know because I I don't know but um, but yeah so you need those three things to be able to organize people getting to your master class because once you decide when your master class is and how you're going to host it what service I you know you probably need a, a fourth one right fourth one would be the actual webinar or live I guess live session live session hosting service right so that would be basically a webinar platform probably right webinar platform platform so I've used uh expertise tv before tees tv I've used I've used uh webinar jam and I'm using I've used zoom so I've used all those all those platforms to host a live now you can also do a Facebook live a YouTube live and host it that way if you want um but the problem with those is that you can't control there's lots of things you can't really control that's it's it's to the mercy of those platforms right um so I wouldn't necessarily recommend if you especially want to convert it to a master class and you want to do it in a way that that is much more interactive better organized 
you want to use a webinar but the, all those are not free right there's the expert well yeah the, none of these are free they they will cost something if you want to have uh, multiple people attend and there's differences between the different platforms we're not going to get into that right now but you need to choose one and try it out and then and see what others are saying about it right maybe before you try it if you want to do that but yeah so that's what you need these three maybe four things you need to get people to come to your master class how to organize how to, to to organize who's coming and be able to communicate with them before and after and during your live delivery of your master class right hopefully you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.